And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the blue corner from Exeter, Amadeus Sakari. Great to see Amadeus Sakovic back in the ring here at Muay Thai Grand Prix. Even better to see him competing for a belt. It's a long journey up from Exeter. Fighting out of FSC Gym. They've produced 30 champions across various Muay Thai classifications, but this man lives and breathes the sport. Victorious last time we were here in London. Long, rangy and strong. And it is going to be a tough five rounds for Phil Casper against this man. Relentless. Amadeus Sakovic brought the supporters with him as well. They've made the journey. This one, 76.4 kilos. Amadea Sakuri! And now please welcome to the red corner from Hackney, East London, Phil Kaspar! I mentioned that it's at 76.4 kilos is because in a past life this man was 104 kilos a late convert to Muay Thai but he has exploded another one who lives and breathes the sport a former British super middleweight champion at Muay Thai Grand Prix now looking to become a European champion his Muay Thai Grand Prix story goes way back to the very beginning now here at Muay Thai Grand Prix 30. He is looking to go to bigger and better things and there's some of that fancy footwork that he's going to take into the ring here. From just up the road in Hackney. Phil Casper fighting out of Bloodline Gym. Two very, very different styles going head to head for the European belt this evening. Really, really looking forward to this one. Amadeus Sakovic versus Phil Kasper for the 76.4 kilo Muay Thai Grand Prix European title. Phil! So, ladies and gentlemen, this bout will be for the minus 76.4 kilogram Muay Thai Grand Prix European Muay Thai title. And this Phil. bout will be contested over five three-minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly in the blue corner. He's representing FSC Gym in Exeter. It's Amadeus Sagumi. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He's representing Bloodline Gym in Hackney, East London. It's Phil Kaspar! Okay, gentlemen, come on in, please. All right, fellas, we've been, already been over the rules of this bout. Protect yourself at all times, this is my command at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch gloves and back to your corners, please. Away we go then, five three minute rounds. Sakovic versus Kasper. Right, fellas, here we go. Season. Blue corner ready, red corner ready. Round one, so. Sakovic. Long and lean, Kasper. Incredibly strong in the clinch. 
Yeah, look for the different start here. Five three-minute rounds. First round, looking for the gaps, testing what he does. When you throw a kick, what does he do? When you throw this, what does he do? Look at the slow pace start. When he faces somebody like Sakovic, though, look at those levers. Always got to be weary of those kicks coming. Yeah, he's got really good long knees as well, the taller man. Steps forward and throws that knee well. Kaspar has dangerous hands when he gets in close. Just testing his range there. A nod of approval there from Sakovic, just to let him know that he felt the power. Kaspar hasn't even unloaded properly yet. And even those ones that glance off the gloves, they just give you an idea of what's to come. Yeah, nice trip from Kasper there in the clinch. Box off. Beautiful work. Look how composed he is too. Straight overhand left down the middle. Fate with the left then to follow up with the right. Break there, step away. Break there, step away. Well, 90 seconds in, he's Box just off. finding ways to get in close, isn't he? He knows he's not going to be able to fight this at range. Nice little turn to the side there. Parrying the hand and stepping out to his right as a southpaw. Nice left body kick from Kasper. Switches and chops the leg on the other side. Lands with that left hand as well. Amadeus Sakovic. Not giving Kasper a great deal to think about in this first round. And also you can see Kasper is dictating where the fight goes here. He's the one stepping, Sakovic having to be put in place almost in the ring because of Kasper's demeanor there and the way he's stalking his man. Says a lot about the mentality there when the fighter that's dictating the pace. Ooh, lovely elbow. Gets a smile from Sakovic. He talked about how much he loves the sport, and you can tell he's even got respect when he takes a big shot. <laughs> Acknowledges the good work from Kasper. Oh, nice right hand there, though, from Sakovic. Went in long, and Kasper not quick enough on the counter. Referee steps in at the end of round one. And a few crumbs of comfort there for Amadeus Sakovic as the bell goes. But I think Phil Kasper will be the happier of the two after three minutes. Yeah, I think you're right. Nice round there. Some great left body kicks landing from Kasper clean across the midsection of Amadeus Sakovic. There's that lovely trip early on. You see there, Sakovic just waiting a little bit and Kasper almost triggering the tee off and there was that lovely body kick look Sakovic has to take two steps back from the power of that again in Muay Thai the scoring is about those clean shots landing but the showing the effect of the shot is a big thing a big Second factor away. in uh, the okay, scoring corners out please corners out and there was that right hand over the top there from Sakovic, looking at the replay, it was actually a, a little bit quicker, a little bit sharper than I initially thought. OK, round two, gentlemen. Box on. So from a coaching perspective then, a training perspective, someone with the obvious range advantages like Sakovic, how would you like to see him fighting in this second round and beyond? I'd like to see him using those massive legs he's got and uh, teeping the leg, teeping the body of Casper, uh, not letting him come close. Don't You shouldn't let him in there. Uh, see how he's sitting in range there right now. He needs to be teeping, getting the distance, using his body kicks from a distance. Casper will stalk you and he'll hunt you down, find his range, and dump you on your head like that. Face up, box up. Right on cue. Casper <laughs> very experienced. You can see how relaxed he looks there. A little bit wild from Sakovic. Yeah, blue corner just telling him to set it up before you just throw like that. He needs to set it up, jab, teep, jab, teep, use the range. But even there you see he throws the teep, but Casper's so strong he just stands his ground and 
the kicker is the one that moves. That's better work from Sakovic. Sakovic's got a great crowd behind him, just like he did last time. That's for a bit off balance there. That parry of the gloves from Kasper was what we saw earlier, just that little step to the side, but a good kick in there from Kasper. Sakovic oh, switching on a bit more now, though. Remember this, five threes, so a bit more time for consideration. Stop. A bit more time to make an impact as well. Yeah, five rounds is a long time. You don't want to be falling out this early. Stop, stop. Yeah, red corner saying speed up a little bit, put a bit more power in. This guy's got nothing for you. Kasper hasn't really stepped out of second gear at all here. With Sakovic as well, he's just trying a few feints with the gloves, with the head, just to try and spark Kasper into something, but he's so relaxed, he's not falling for the bait. Nice kicking again from Kasper. Clean, 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 clean. There's those knees from right, Sakovic. Face up, Phil. Phil, face, 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 face. That's cool. Unfortunately, Ready? you need to carry on. Accidental groin shots in Muay Thai are just that, an accident, and you continue to fight. If you don't, then you get an eight count. Oh, that was a kick and a half. Yeah, right under the rib cage. Worn well by Sakovic, but those are the kind of shots that take it out of you later in the fight. Yeah, exactly that. They take a lot of wind out of you. Another good round from Casper. As yes, we watch the replays now, see some of that work. Just a little bit lazy with that teep there with Sakovic, and uh, it didn't even land, and Kasper still caught it. Dumped him on his head for his troubles. See, Kasper pushing the distance here, putting his man where he wants him. Sakovic needs to circle out, use his teep, use his jab. Create that space, use his range. Yeah, you don't want to see big, long fighters backed up onto the ropes. Seconds nope. away. Okay, Corn is out, please. Corn is out. Working. If you're the taller range your man, you need to be controlling the distance. Let's go, guys. Up, up. Well, that's the call from the corner. I don't know if you heard Stop. that, but you yeah. have to wake up. Yeah, blue corner telling a man you have to wake up here. You see the reddening across the just the right hand rib cage of Amadeo Sakovic where Phil Kasper has landed that left body kick clean across the midsection. And this is where Sakovic, oh, really? nice oh. little trip there. Box on. <laughs> I think Chris Batchador got a bit of toe in mouth for his trouble. Delicious. Well, the last time here at the O2, the referee took a big right hand, so... <laughs> Sure, Chris would much rather be. Well, I don't know. We'll ask him afterwards. <laughs> Kasper now circling, creating the range. Box on. Sakovic coming forward, Bill, but Bill, Bill. not really doing anything with it. Just walking Kasper okay. down. Gets a warning there for. Choose your shot, brother. Choose your shot. Shot to the back Box of the off. head. Well, it wasn't that. It was the fact that it was a hammer fist using the side of the glove. Um, you can hit the back of the head in Muay Thai. If someone turns their back, that's their fault. Um, it's not supposed to hammer fist, I think the referee was saying. Um, but to be fair, I think Phil Kasper actually went for the elbow, and as he moved out of range, the glove hit. So I don't think it was intentional at all. Balance Three, just off box. from uh, Sakovic. That was with a good jab there, but I think that's something Kasper's done really well. It was his own of his own volition being off balance there but throughout the fight so far what are we two rounds and two minutes into this one Casper's found a way of putting him off balance almost using those big long limbs against him 
Make yeah, that, that's what he just did in the clinch there as well. As Sakovic came in with those elbows, they were parried off, the arms were parried, and he managed to duck out the side there to Kasper. Some nice work like that. Look at that. Just not capitalizing on taking that blind spot for me. If he'd have stepped out to that side and kicked the ribs, perfect. What's up? He's stepping out, but he's not scoring as he does it. Just that final part of the, the puzzle. Well, we're seeing a big difference between the two men on the ropes, aren't we? As soon as Kasper gets there, watch him in the corner here. Just, just steps out. It's pretty crude work, but gets Fight. himself out of trouble. Took a kick for his uh, troubles there on the way out. And Sakovic not making an effort to get out from the corner at all. Kasper not turning the screw. 20 seconds of the round to go. Casper goes to work straight away in the clinch, gets the first knee in. Randy. Corners out, please. Corners out. Fighters up. Casper just doing Let's really go. well to sort of move them to the side go, with those guys. little parries and up, up. get himself out. Alright, round four, fellas. And box on. Okay, into the big money rounds now. Round four. Well, something needs to change for Sakovic, otherwise, this first opportunity at a belt is going to slip away from him. Nice work there for Casper. A little step to the right as the southpaw works really well for him. Cuts the angles differently. Spinning elbow there, attempt from Casper. Nice attempt from Casper. That's a couple of times he's gone to the elbow already here in round number four. like to see Sakovic timing those knees as Kasper ducks out to the side. He's got the height. Just letting the hands go now a bit more. He's calling Kasper in, but it's not really giving Kasper anything to be scared of. He just walk in at will. It's not the cleanest work when he gets there, but Still looks so relaxed. Going up to the halfway point around number four. A lovely body kick from Casper. There's that movement, but just not capitalizing. I'd like to see Casper throw a kick on the end of that. Step out and then kick like that. What? That was better. What's up? Go. Sakovic just getting a little bit frustrated and it was slippy. But coming forward and kneeing as his corner is asking him to do. Nice little uppercut there from Kasper to set up his flurry of punches. Yeah, he got through with a couple of those as well. Come. Sakovic getting a little bit frustrated in there, I think, now. Nice jab from Kasper. And again, straight down the middle. Well, Kasper that time looking to use brute strength. Wow. Sakovic still calling him on, but Phil Kasper 
fighting this European title bout at his own pace, completely in control. Referee just stopping now because you've got to take two steps and then you've got to throw some in. One more to go. As both men go to the corners for the penultimate time. Amadeus Sakovic needs to find another gear because Phil Kasper has been in complete control for 12 minutes. Nullifying all of the threats, all of the good work that we saw the last time we had Amadeus Sakovic here at Muay Thai Grand Prix. A lot can happen in three minutes of Muay Thai. However, Amadeus Sakovic is going to need to produce something that we have not seen this evening if he's going to be leaving with the belt around his waist. Seconds away. Okay, corner's up. Fifth and final round, gentlemen. Good job, lads. Box on. Phil Casper, by contrast, three minutes of the same, and he'll be leaving a champion. Fifth and final. Amadeus coming forward saying, let's go. He wants him to bring the fight, but Casper's there and ready to bring it. Nice body kicking again. Uh, Face, box up. Casper does really well just to parry those arms off. And off balance his opponent so that he can't throw those long knees that he is so good at. See there, just creating the distance just to be out the way of it. Very good work and awareness from the shorter man. That's better knee in from Sakovic. Gotta watch the elbows when he does so. Even Sakovic's supporters sound a little bit laboured now. One last attempt to try and get something special from their man as Kasper wins the exchange once more and we enter the final 90 seconds. Now, right hand over the top from Sakovic. Can that spark something? Not this time as Kasper just spins out again. All of, the, all of those 50-50 exchanges on the ropes, he seems to have come out on the right side of. Yeah, he uses the angles very well. Phil Casper. Looking tired now. Well, he's taken a lot of punishment to Sakovic. No surprise that we're seeing some fatigue in the final minute. Both men mouths wide open. Hard work in there, make no mistake. Phil Casper there, just, just picking him off for the jab, just showing that even in those exchanges where not much is happening, he's coming out on top. Final 20 seconds then. Nice kick. And the final bell rings. And we'll go to the judges' scorecards. Amadea Sakovic raises his hands, but Phil Kasper surely will be leaving with the European belt. A good, strong display from him, nullified all of the obvious strengths that Amadea Sakovic brings to the Muay Thai ring. Some lovely work from Phil Casper in that bout. 
showing a good display of range awareness, footwork, taking his body off centre. Well right, coming in first, please. Come on in. Movement to the side before he throws his shots. Sneaking out the gaps. Right, Phil, come on in, please. Some good solid scoring. Just seem to come win on, all the marginals, but we do go to the official scorecards. So let's find out who's the European champion. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please, for both of these men after five excellent European title rounds. And at the end of those five completed rounds, at the end of those five completed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a split decision in favor of your winner and the minus 76.4 kilogram MTGP European champion. From Hackney, London, Phil Kaspar! Well, as soon as the ring announcer says those words, split and decision, a hush fell across in the go at the O2. The judges had that one a lot but closer than I did, but the there is your champion Grand from TTP Hackney, champion. has got the strap around Bill his waist Kaspar. after a tap, tap five rounds here at Muay Thai Grand Prix. Fantastic victory for him, but split decision, Dave Benson. Yeah, I mean, I thought Phil Casper took it. He had clean landing shots, always had power on those shots that landed, and they were showing a visual effect, moving Amadeus Sakovic. Here come the dance moves. <laughs> but no, I thought it was a really nice display from Phil Casper, um, and I, I thought he took it convincingly, but I'm not a judge. We just sit here and talk about it. Yes, um, we do. Ultimately, I feel it went to the right person. So.